Head injuries are incredibly common. We've all had that feeling where you hit your head and you see stars and you feel a bit sick and dizzy and you sort of clonk down. That is a bang on the head that has potentially caused reversible damage to your brain. Now, when, when people talk about concussion, they're talking about those sort of symptoms where you know you might feel sick, you might feel dizzy, you might be a bit groggy. Um, you could be knocked out, but actually, with rest, you should make a full recovery. Now, what happens when you hit your head is that your head is hit like this, but your brain bounces against. It can cause a traumatic brain injury. So what can happen is that you have a blow on one side of the head and it causes the brain to bash around and causes damage around the blood vessels of, um, within the brain and it can cause swelling. You're within a box. So if your brain is swelling, there's nowhere for it to go. It can only push against other bits of brain and against your spinal cord. And that's when you start seeing signs and symptoms of compression, which is a sign that your brain is being squeezed. So if somebody has had a head injury and they start to behave differently or they develop slurred speech or they can't get the words out properly or they start having seizures or maybe they have a weakness down one side um, or all sorts of other um, signs that the brain is suffering, you need to get help fast. And what happens is that in hospital, they will do something to actually release the pressure in the brain so that the brain is able to heal. It's really important that anyone that has a bang on the head is not left on their own for the next 48 hours. That if it's a serious blow to the head, that somebody is with them and they're looking out for them. We've all heard of people that have died um, following a nasty head injury. That's comparatively rare. Um, for that to happen, but usually what's happened is that they have been on their own. And if somebody spots the signs quickly and gets them to hospital, then very often we can release the pressure and reverse that brain damage. So really important to look out for any signs of anything unusual, and um, we have lists of exactly what to look out for. Um, that you get help and get them seen as quickly as possible. Particularly important uh, as well if you're doing sport, if um, you hit your head when you are um, playing any form of contact sport, you need to rest your brain. Your brain, um, if it has an injury, is like any other injury, it will swell and it will take time to recover. So there is a gradual return to play that was um, initially brought out with the rugby, with rugby and that side of things, and it's now been adopted by many other supports as being a very clear way of identifying if someone has early signs of concussion and working out what to look out for and when it's safe for them to return to play.